Hey, it's Tammy. Um, long time new video. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'd say I've been busy, but honestly, I just really haven't had much to talk about. I'm still a temp, which sucks. Um, I'm not going to say it's well. I like my job. It's good. Uh, I just wish I actually was technically an employee. But, you know, take what you can get in this economy, which still sucks. But, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to do another video. Um, it's going to be short and sweet. As short as I can do them because I ramble. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting on the floor. I'm just sitting on the floor. I don't know why. It was comfortable at the time. Um, yeah. So, things are still good. Uh, not much going on. Still don't have a car. It's been a year now. Um, on the bright side, in that year I've dropped like 40 pounds from the walking and such, which works out. I still really want a car though. <laughs> I'm a driver. It's, I need to drive. Um, so yeah, um, my roommate has been kind enough to let me borrow her car on occasion, so I've been able to get a little driving out of my system. Um, yeah, for a while there I was driving back and forth to Fairfax because my cat was in the hospital. He had a really, really really bad bladder infection and it was kind of touch and go and they thought he might not make it but he did and he's back and bad as ever um <laughs> if you hear that noise that's my dog um he's also doing well um very matted right now because um groomers are expensive that's like 80 bucks for a haircut which is bull but whatever hi really <sighs> anyway in the previous videos, I was trying to do it like weekly, but I just, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable making videos when other people are around. Like, you know, my roommate's usually here, um, and I just, I don't know, I, I like doing them when I'm alone. So, it's so rare now that I'm doing this one, because I have an alone day. Like, I'm alone for a whole afternoon. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to sit around and play video games or watch a movie or something, but... It's nice. Um, I'd say my roommate's, like, I mean, she's cool. It's just not, you know, you know how it is. It's nice to have alone time sometimes. And I don't get a lot of that. Because, yeah. But, <laughs> <sighs> it's so quiet right now. Like, I, I even think my obnoxious neighbors are gone, which is just so cool. Um, but anyway, I ramble. I said this is going to be a short, sweet video. So it's going to be a short, sweet video. Um current favorite products I don't have a lot of them on me right now Oyen Handmade everybody's been talking about it I tried it um, I'm a big fan of the what's it called it's not the whip pudding although I do like the whip pudding uh, the shine and define I like the shine and define um, and I like the honey hem conditioner but I only got the little like I bought like a bunch of samples and stuff um, so I'm out of that right now I like the way it smells I'm not quite sure how I like what it does to my hair because I didn't really I didn't really pay attention to what it was doing to my hair to be honest um, I do love their juices like I have the Frank juice um, I had the what's it called the Greg juice which I liked um, it's got a fresher citrusy scent to it I like this scent um, to me it lasts longer uh, uh, the Frank juice it's very strong frankincense smell which I'm cool with like I burn incense all the time I, I like the way it smells um, but this one the scent on this lasts longer like the Greg juice I spray it in my hair I smell it for like an hour and then it goes away my only thing with these is I it's sticky I don't know if I'm using too much or what but it, it's sticky um, but I like it I figure it's probably a good thing that it's sticky because that means it's drawing moisture to it or something. I I don't know. Anyway, I like these. Um, eventually I'll order the full size, but since my hair is doing the whole yarn braid thing right now, I'm kind of pointless to order the full size because I'm not going to waste good product on yarn. Um, granted, you're supposed to still moisture. I have other stuff for that. Speaking of which, I like this. Um, it's Shea Moisture Organic Coconut Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. I like
like it. It smells like coconut. <laughs> um, normally I don't like coconut scented things, but I this is like a light coconut scent. Um, and it's not sticky. I don't know how moisturizing it is. Um, because I just I've just been using it since I got the yarn braids. This is the second time I've had yarn braids. Um, the first time I was like, I like them, but they take too long. Um, it took me like, two days to put them in the first time I did it. Um, the second time it only took me a day, but <laughs> let me tell you why. Um, I said this was going to be a short video, but let me tell you why I have these in the second time. Okay, first time I got yarn braids, I kept them in for a month um, because they started to get really loose in the back and then my, I guess because I'm always wearing it up, it started twisting and I was scared that I, it was going to form dreads, which I'm not quite ready for, so I took them out. Um, Although they say you can keep them in for like three months, I'm assuming that means you need to touch them up and redo them. And since I have a mohawk, that would mean basically redoing the whole thing. It just takes too long. But anyway, so I took them out and my hair is about here now. So it's, it's grown a lot, like a lot, a lot, which is awesome. And then I got this bright idea. I'm going to put a texturizer in. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Um, I swear to you that I did not leave this in. I put it in, and once I got to the front, I brushed it back a little bit, saw that my hair was getting straight just from going back to front, and I have a mohawk. There wasn't that much hair to do. Rinsed it right out. My hair is dry. Crispy, straight, doesn't quite hold my two strand twist so much anymore, and I'm afraid that I may have to chop it all off again. You guys remember uh, how much I hated my hair super short. If I have to chop it all off again, I'm gonna cry. A lot. It's down here now. It's my own fault. I should not have put a stupid thing. It was, um, I will tell you exactly the product too, so you know and you, and you don't do it. Um, just for me, oh, what was it called? Oh, Just For Me Texture Softener. Evil. Pure, pure, creamy, evil, bad thing. My poor hair. So anyway, that happened, and I did like some deep protein treatments, and I did a henna treatment, and nothing was working. So in an effort to try to salvage what I can, I was like, maybe if I just give my hair another break, it'll bounce back a little bit, it won't be so crispy and dry and sad. So I put the yarn braids back in. Um, what may end up happening is I will keep doing the yarn braids for a while until my hair grows back out again. Or I could just give up, bite the bullet, and completely relax my hair again. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I like the versatility that my hair has natural, which I didn't think would be a big thing. I thought it would always be like froey crazy. But, you know, there's the twists, I can braid it, I can just do all kinds of fun stuff with it, and when it's straight, I can't really mess with it but so much. It's like it's straight, I can put some heat in it. I don't want to do all that. Um, and even though I, you know, was complaining a lot about having to constantly twist my hair all the time to get it the way that I wanted it, I would rather twist my hair all the time than have it be this straight, dry crap that I constantly have to put product in in order to have it look healthy. I'd rather it be healthy and me have to do stuff to it all the time. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers that by some miracle and, you know, a couple protein treatments, or something, my hair will bounce back. It probably won't. I'm probably going to have to cut it off. I know I'm probably going to have to cut it off, but 
I am trying desperately to hold on to the fact that maybe I won't. That's it. I did the products. That's the long story that made this video not short and sweet like I wanted it to be. And I will close the video in showing you what, it's not what I'm reading, it's what I've finished reading. Um, Patrick Rothfuss, and the name of the, I, I might not be pronouncing that right, Rothfuss, Rothfuss, I don't know, Name of the Wind, it might have a glare on it because I'm in front of the patio door. Um, really good book, really good book. Um, it's actually a part of a trilogy. This is the first book. The second one, I believe, is called A Wise Man's Fear. And I'm not sure what the third one's going to be called yet, because it's not out, and I wish I'd known that before I started this, because I really hate waiting. But now I have to wait. Just like the Game of Thrones thing. I finally finished all those books, and now i got to wait for the next one. And as we all know, I am not a patient person. Um, <laughs> not patient. Uh, but anyway, that's what's up. Um... I will try really hard, if anybody's actually watching these, I will try to make more interesting videos. Um, April, I'm on a health kick. Um, yeah, for the month of April, I'm trying to eat better, do a little bit more exercise, because, I mean, the weather's nice, um, so I can walk around a bit more. What are you doing to that bone? Um, but yeah, April is health month, so I'm going to be focusing on, like, different things I can do to make myself healthy. and trying out different stuff, so maybe I'll go over some of that with you guys. Um, I've pretty much, the reasoning for it is I've almost reached my weight goal. Um, you guys know when I started I was like 230, which on me, I didn't, I wasn't like fat or anything, but I was chubby, and that's not healthy for me. Um, so I went on the diet and I started exercising and eating better and I've dropped 40 pounds. So I'm at 187 right now, which means I am 7 pounds away from being at my ideal weight for my height and age. Um, yeah, so um, April is the month I'm going to try to knock out that 7 pounds. And yeah, so I might share that journey with you guys. Um, I know I'm doing it on my Tumblr as well. Um, in fact, I need to go do my measurements and stuff today to see how much inches I've lost so I can update my journal. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. So maybe I'll do a couple videos on what I'm doing with that. Um, next week, I know I'm going, I'm going to be doing an all vegetarian thing for like a week or two just to see how that goes, um, which I have no problem with. Uh, and then depending on how the month goes, I might just, I might do vegetarian for a month. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll probably still eat fish or something, because that's what I did last time. And I'm okay with that. The only thing I miss when I do that is chipotle steak burritos. But other than that, I can just eat fish all the time, which is good. Um, sustainable fish. But yeah, I, I'm rambling again. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, that's it. No more video. Um, sorry it's been so long. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Hi, Bailey. Give me that.